In Creo Parametric, you can design the mold necessary to manufacture components. This is the fifth of a five part series where we are going to conclude the design of the mold for a complicated shower head. In the last video, we finished off by creating the various different mold components. Let's make some stuff easier to see. I'm going to select the two sliders and let's go to the view tab from model display. You can go to component display style and we can set those to no hidden line. Also for this component, the mold cavity, let's set that one to transparent. There you can see the various components that we have. Let's now take a look at the cross section that we created way back when you can see that there's a little bit of an outline where there's no material in here. So that represents where our mold material is going to flow. Let's deactivate the cross section. And for this video, we are going to create the actual molding for the component that will be built. And then we're going to do a mold opening analysis. From the mold tab, we can choose create molding. And now it's prompting us in the information window to name the part and I'll call it the part number dash molding. And then you can write in a common name if you want to. I will just hit the check mark. And there another component was created in there. Once again, if we activate our cross section, you can see that what was previously not filled in is now filled in. Let's deactivate the cross section once again. Let's take a look at that molding component. I will select it in the model tree and then use the open button. And this is the actual part that would come out of the mold. And it looks just like our reference model. That's an indication that we did indeed design our mold correctly. You can see that we have the proper undercuts on the little tabs and also the plug helped us create this area correctly. If you take a look at the model tree, we just have one feature, a molding ID feature. Let's close this window. And now for the next step, we are going to create a mold opening analysis. Kind of looks like an exploded view of the mold. To do that, let's go to the mold opening command. This is going to trigger the menu manager. And the first thing we are going to do is define a step. And in this step, we are going to define a move. Let's select the plug component. And then we can click the OK button. And then for our direction, you can select a surface, an edge, an axis, or a face. Surface, same thing. Okay, so moving in this direction, let's try a value of six. And then we can hit the done button. And there you can see where it moves up there. I'm also going to have to move out this component. So let's modify a dimension. And let's change this. Maybe let's try a value of eight instead. Oops, way too big. There we go. And then we can hit done return. Oops, accidentally closed out of the mold opening command. So there you can see the modified value for how much we moved that component. Let's define a, another step. And I will define a move. And this time we'll do it for the slider on the left. Then I'll click the OK button. And now for the direction, I'll pick this surface. And once again, let's use a value of the eight. That sounds good to me. And then let's define a, another move. And for the other move, I'll select the component on the right, click the OK button, and then select face over here. Let's use a value of eight. And I'll say done. And so that moved those two components out. Right now, they're still showing up in no hidden line. Let's go to our view manager and change the style back to the master style so that everything is shaded. Let's close out of there. For the next step, let's select our mold cavity. 
Oops, let's define a move and select this component and click the OK button. For the direction reference, I'll pick this surface and let's move this up a distance of six. Hit the Done button and now we'll define our final step. Define move this component. Click the OK button. Let's pick a surface for a motion reference. I'll use a value of 6 for that as well. Let's hit Done out of here. And that way we can see how it's exploded, how the mold opening is set up to be defined. And you can see the molding there in the center. And so that way we have our mold designed. There are a few other things that we can do in here. I'll show this in other videos. You can define production features like water lines and runners. If I go to the drop down menu, you can also do ejector pinholes. But this sort of stuff can also be done in the mold layout mode and also in EMX, the expert mold base extension. But there you have it, the mold design process for a complicated part. I hope you enjoyed this series, and I hope that you learned a lot. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you enjoyed this video series, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.